Hey everybody, it's your old pal Tectone, and welcome back to another episode of Your Pet and You. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to understand these little friendly creatures right here, and the bonding experience, and how to get to where you want to be in a relationship level with these little critters, okay? So I hope you enjoy. Okay, yikes! Glad we're done with that creepy shit. Hey, if you're new here, hi, name's Tectone. Hope you'll sub. Cool, now let's talk about what we need to talk about here today, y'all. Okay, pets, they're sick. Now, what if I were to tell you there was such a pet that brought an air of a status symbol when you could achieve the requirements for getting this pet? Fair warning, this pet is going to be extremely difficult to get and it's gonna take a while. It's definitely a stretch goal but a well worth stretch goal for sure. Another disclaimer, this is a great pet. It's a legendary pet, but it's definitely, it is definitely not a game breaking pet. It's not like get this and it's the best pet in the game no matter what, no. It's a good pet. It's on the same tier as every other legendary pet, but this one's a little bit more important and a little bit more special because you don't get it via pulling. You get it via achievement and hard work, which, hey, that's sick. So let's talk about the prerequisites for this pet. And then we're going to talk about what pet we're actually talking about here, okay? On my main account, y'all have probably heard me flexing pretty hard. Yeah. I'm 99.93 percentile uh, amongst all players. And yeah, I'm really proud of that, okay? I'm really proud of that. Uh, and so why am I talking about that? Why are you flexing right now, Tecton? Well, it's because if you click on the season bonus and you go to the 15 day reward, you'll see this right here called the Legendary Hunting King, okay? And now this chest is gonna be given to the pacemakers of the server, which means one group will be getting this egg, okay? And when they open this egg, they will get one of these dragons, okay? So, yes, if this is your first time seeing these, I'm really big, hold up, let me fix this. Okay, I did not notice how big I was for that long. Okay, dragons, yes, they look sick and there's four types, okay? You have the assist type, which is lightning earth, so sick. You have the DPS one, or the attack one, which is also Lightning Earth. You have the blue and red one. They're all Lightning Earth. Hey, I just learned that. Don't, but the important thing to notice here is, is that one is an assist, one is a, a DPS, one is a guardian, and one is a healer type pet. Now, they all look super sick. The assist one is the most important one to get for DPS and healers, at least in my opinion, and the DPS pet is the most important to get if you're a tank, okay? At least for now, at least for the early game. Who knows where we're gonna be in half a month, right? Uh, so these pets are what's going to be given to the pacemakers, okay? Once again, only one group. A lot of people right now might be getting pissed off because they're like, well, shit, I want that. I'm not rank one. How do I get it if I'm not rank one? Oh, but it's like one out of a million people is gonna get it. Not true. And I was really relieved to hear that because there's no way that I'm gonna get pacemaker ever it's ridiculous it's ridiculous but still cool even if it was just like that to be honest okay but okay but okay 99 percent of players okay so i'm in there sorry not 99 percent one percent of players so the top one percent of players will be getting will be given a platinum chest okay and this will give you a bunch of goodies which i'll go into later in a different video but for right now i really want to talk about this pet and we're gonna talk about the Dragon Balls, okay? So you get four Dragon Balls right here if you're the top 1% of players, okay? So, when you collect seven Dragon Balls, you will summon the first dragon, okay? Which is right here, all right? And that's the assist one. So if you're a healer, and if you're a DPS, then you get the one that's best for you right off the bat the moment you collect seven dragon balls but now you're wondering tech zone how do you get the other three dragon balls you only get three well the cool thing that i was told about is as long as you hold a 99th percentile following that then you will get one dragon ball every week so after 15 days you get this big bonus for dragon balls hold it for three more weeks and then you'll be able to summon one of these bad boys okay and that's sick so the top 99 percentile players are still going to be able to get this fairly easily if you can maintain that okay now here's the other thing 
the top 95th percentile, okay, will also be getting two Dragon Balls right off the bat, okay? So now 95th percentile, that's pretty, that's that's fair, right? Like that's, that's a lot more obtainable than uh, rank one, right? It's a lot more obtainable than rank one. And then I'm not sure about this yet, and I'll confirm this as soon as I know, but uh, as far as I know, for sure, 99th percentile and above get the one Dragon Ball every week. I'm not sure if the same thing happens for uh, 95th percentile, but I do know for sure the 99th percentile and up do get the extra Dragon Balls, okay? So why is this so important? Why is this so cool? The reason why this is cool is because it gives you a pet that is more than just a pet. It's more than just deal damage because you have a good pet. It's also a status symbol for anybody who is willing to put in the work. Now, I know what you're also thinking. Tectone, do you mean putting in the work or do you just mean spending a lot of money? And to your point, fair. However, I just started a character today, okay? And it's important to notice, whenever you start a new character, you can join another server for the newest hunting season that was put out, okay? And these are determined via that hunting system, okay? I just started this character today, haven't spent a dime, and I made all of my teammates also promise to not spend any money whatsoever because I want to get 99th percentile and summon one of these dragons as a complete free-to-play player and also as a free-to-play team. So now you're probably wondering, you just started it today and you spent no money. Well, how high of a percentile could you possibly be? 95th, okay? And we just started today and we're not even going that hard. We're going super lackadaisically, okay? So it is within the realm of possibility if we push ourselves hard enough to actually get that. And that would be a true true testament now the other thing that's really important to know is that dragon balls are not transferable from account to account so you do have to get it on that character just like how all the items in the games aren't transferable between account and account it is exclusive to whatever character you get it on so there's no way that i'll be able to cheat and be like oh look at the dragon i got on my free-to-play account but i mean shit they look pretty damn good, huh? But yeah, I really wanted to highlight these units because it's so important to have things that certain players can work on, especially for the upper echelon of whales. Having goals for whales is super, super, super important because, you know, we're playing a mobile game after all. So this will give a lot of people something to aim for and a little symbol of like, hey, here's something for all your hard work. And once again, I didn't say this before. I need to say it now. Um, for people who are getting them week by week, the first dragon you'll summon is the the assist one right here. After that, once you summon it, the Dragon Balls do not go away. You collect nine more. You'll summon the DPS one. You'll collect nine more. You'll summon the Guardian. You'll summon nine more. And then you'll get the uh, little healer one, healer one. That's the word. So seven, 16, 25, 34. So 34 uh, Dragon Balls in total. So this will take a total of around, yeah, roughly 34 weeks uh, to get in total if you're just getting it freshly off the 99th percentile after the first initial week, which, Pretty good, right? Pretty good. Not that bad. And uh, hey, gives the game some longevity. You know what I mean? A lot of these games, man, they just, they throw in shit. You beat it in like a week and then you're like, okay, well, why did I play this? I like games with a little bit of depth, a little bit of longevity. And this definitely gives a lot of people something to aim toward. It's kind of like getting gladiator mounts in World of Warcraft or, or getting like, you know, your diamond or your, or your challenge border in League of Legends, or I don't know, the golden shovel in Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite. I don't know shit about that game, but I'm sure there was some type of goal for that game as well. Regardless, I'm really excited about these pets. Not just for myself. If I don't get one, that's honestly okay. But I am so stoked to be able to see people put in the work, get something cool, and know that this game means a lot to them because they wanted to work towards something to where they could show that they are amongst the cream of the crop. And then in three years' time, when people are still grinding on their phones because they have no control because you're going to play when you're offline anyways, and they're retired, they'll still have a little medal showing what they once were. It's cool. And I'm sure they're going to add a lot more of these pets uh, from now in the future to give anybody just joining in an opportunity to earn something as cool as like that in case they get a little too late of a start on the game. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one, y'all. I really hope y'all enjoyed this showcase about these pets because it's sick. And yeah, sure, not everybody's going to be able to get them. But regardless, man, it's going to be really cool seeing people compete to try to get those. And now, now I get why people are going so damn hard in this game. Let me just show y'all real quick before I wrap this up. Okay, I'm on Bababo Coast. I'm 99.93 percentile, right? The people who are number one are over 
in Sinbad Forest 93. It's ridiculous. So shout out to No Money, Quantap, Pick Bin, Black Dragon for putting in the work and really getting in there. I'm also playing on the global server, by the way. So it may look a little bit different for y'all. But yeah, super sick. Hey, I appreciate when people put in that much work for a mobile game because it's fun. You don't have to do this, but people are passionate and they want to get in there. So it's cool. All right. Hey, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll make another guide uh, very, very, very soon. A very good one. So if you're new here and you made it all this way, regardless, hey, give me a sub. Next video coming out is going to be sick. I promise you I'm going to get it out as soon as possible because it's crazy how nobody is talking about what I found out uh, via the help of some Discord members and just general research myself. So yeah. I've been Tech Tone, y'all have been great. Hope you all are having a damn good one. I'm gonna get out of here, and as always, peace!